Hey guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I am John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. And over over my shoulder here is my little hydroponic helper. This is little Miss Ava. Guys, we've heard a lot about uh, the different types of grow methods used uh, to utilize that BA cracking method. And by far the number one most successful um, growing media for that is lettuce, right? Lettuce seems to really take off. Uh, leafy greens, that type of thing is perfect cracky type material. Now, we've also seen some videos and literature and essays and things like that for tomatoes as well. But you don't really hear about the cracky cucumber experiment in which he took a 33 gallon uh, trash can and was able to sustain an entire cucumber grow uh, just using a, that 33 gallon trash can. Okay, so this is my take on cu uh, cracky cucumbers. And, and what do I got here, Miss Ava? We have a 20 gallon tote right here. Okay, guys, I've got some nutrient mixing up into it right now. I'm using the Dynagrow grow formula. All right, and I've got about 20 teaspoons of that mixed up in here. I also have about 20 teaspoons of Kelmeg in here as well. <laughs> okay, and the 20 teaspoons in here, that's going to prevent that from getting blossom and rot. What I have here is it's pH also down to about a 6.5. So all we need to do is remove the air, put a lid on this, and plant us some cucumbers. And then I've got this kind of ghetto, ghetto uh, tr trellis netting thing here. So hopefully we're going to be able to uh, grow these things up into the light and get some, uh, get some nice cucumbers. No, i got a lid right there, Bo. See that one? We only got two plants. So now, all we need to do is remove this. You're right, good job. And, see, there's a big secret here. What? We have to drill a couple of holes on here. You know why? why? Because this thing bows out. So if we drill a couple of holes and put a couple of nails in, and I'll get a close up on it in a minute, you'll be able to secure the lid to this, all right? So let us get going on this and let us start with the, the planting process. All right guys, I got them all planted out. We've got uh, the lid on nice and secured. I drilled a couple of nails in here uh, just to make sure that this is nice and uh, supported, okay? Because when that when those uh, plastic totes, when you fill them up, they tend to bow out and you can't get the lid on and it won't stay on. So if you drill a couple of holes in here, it'll secure it back on. Um, got. Uh, put the lid on got a couple of three and a half inch holes in it with the three and a half inch hole saw if you've never used one of these you have not lived regardless got one of these popped a couple of holes in three and a half inch net cup filled with that hydrogen uh, clay pellet stuff okay so that'll be the support for the plant I got two cu cucumbers going and basically all you do is just suspend them into the nutrients as those roots grow down um, the, it, it'll consume the water and the nutrient, it'll bring the levels down and the roots grow down with it. It's awesome. That air gap in between the water and the surface is how they get their oxygen. Okay, so it's pretty good idea never to fill this back up, just to run it out for the whole duration of the grow. This is kind of like that set it and forget it type of stuff. What do I got for cucumbers? Well, let's talk about that. I got two different varieties here and I can't remember which one I planted, all right? But regardless, these are the types of cucumbers that do not require pollination. I think they're called non-parthenocopic. And I've got two varieties here. I've got uh, Socrates F1 and then I also have a Piccolino F1. The Piccolino are obviously your pickling type cucumber, smaller. Um, they will get bigger if you let them grow out. And then you got the Socrates. And I grew these last year and these were fan just phenomenal, right? It's a seedless cucumber and it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It grows about eight to 10 inches or so. So I'm looking forward to seeing which kind I planted, okay? I should also point out that I have a hard time finding these types of um, cucumbers, the ones that don't require pollination in my nursery. So I had to special order these. I got them from Osborne Seed Company. Osborne Seed Company seems to be a pretty reputable company. Uh, it's, it's, it's certified organic, if that means something to you. So I'm looking forward to letting these grow out and seeing uh, what types of variety that I planted. Like I say, I completely forgot. Regardless, guys, it's November 28, 2014. I think we should come back 
uh, sometime around Christmas, and I will uh, shoot a follow-up here. So, All right, guys, the uh, craggy tuned. cucumbers. Check it out. Pretty cool. No pumps, no nothing going on in there. It's just growing down into the hydroponic nutrient, uh, and they are coming along quite nicely. Check it out. They're about two to three feet up the trellis here. And I'm going to have to raise the slide ups to keep up with them because they are outracing my light. Regardless, uh, the leaves are coming in really nice. Check it out. These babies are like way bigger than my hand. So they're filling out nicely. Got some cucumbers coming on here. Now they won't all uh, go to fruition, if you will. Um, but quite a few of them will, so we'll see what happens. Uh, have obviously not picked any. You know, this is a... Uh, cucumber sucker right here and a lot of people that grow these things like in greenhouses and things like that will actually pluck those suckers off up until like the fourth leaf set but I'm not gonna do that because I'm in a, a my, my space is limited here so I'm gonna let them all grow crazy natural and try to fill this uh, this trellis netting up as, as best I can but I couldn't be more pleased with the progress here and I'm gonna do this as carefully as I can Give you a peek at the roots. Oh yeah, babe. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. That is just crystal clear, white, beautiful roots growing down into that nutrient. Oh, what a... I would have to say there's, gosh, only about an inch or two down. So this has a ton a ton of time to take up all that nutrient I would guess maybe even a, maybe just a gallon or so has gone out of that tote so uh, again January 3rd 2015 let's come back again sometime around first harvest